you have to pull up your socks. In our meeting this morning, we have asked the IG to give you a chance. Many of us were of the idea that we need to make changes. But we have decided that uh, you'll be given a chance and I've decided to tell you publicly so that even the press here can hear. Ethanol, Bangi must not come through our borders because you are there and you have work to do. And we are also going to talk to the officers of KRI, KEBS, NACADA and all the others. That is our weakest link in this fight, especially on Bangi and Ethanol. And you are there. And those contraband goods are coming to this country to kill our people when you are there. You are in uniform, you have the law on your side, and you simply don't do what you need to do. I'm telling you on behalf of the President and the Government of the Republic of Kenya, it will not be business as usual. And when those goods come to this country, you shall be held responsible. Please sit down. I think PS Interior, uh, if we can have a few, we wanted to, the press had requested that uh, Professor Kindiki can read the statement at 11. What time is it now? It, it, how many? So we can have a few, maybe. PS internal security, you can give a few officers, they can tell us what they think, and then uh, Professor Kindiki will read the statement, then we'll ask the press, the press to take a break, then we'll be left here now to talk of our own internal things that are of a security nature after the CS interior has read the measures for the country because they are for the officers and also for the people of Kenya so that everybody knows what will happen going forward starting today. But this war must be fought the government is in charge, and the government has never lost a war, and is not going to lose this one. A decision has been made, and it must work, and we must bring sanity back to this country. See, uh, PS. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will, uh, in no particular order, just call on a few of the officers to speak. Uh, so the first one would be the regional commissioner for Rift Valley, just a few of the issues that uh, we have picked, that you picked, that you, you want to bring up, then followed by the regional police commander for Central, and then the county commander, police commander in charge of Masabit, and then the county commissioner for Migori. If we have uh, any minute left before 11, then we'll get uh, the fifth person to speak. I hope there's a microphone around. So we start with uh, is the RC Rift Valley in the house. So let's have the microphone there. Thank you. Morning, sir. Morning. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, first, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, sir, uh, for inviting us to this uh, serious meeting. Uh, we feel privileged and honored to be here, Your Excellency. Thank you very much, sir. So maybe just to highlight a few issues, I would like from, right from the onset to inform you that we are determined and focused to deal with this problem once and for all. We are ready to receive the instructions and we shall implement the instructions to the letter. Sir, as you rightly mentioned, we have an issue with ethanol. So there is need for us to have a discussion, a very serious one, on whether ethanol is useful in this country vis-a-vis -vis the danger or the disadvantages that are there. And if we allow the ethanol to be within the country, then we require very stringent control measures on how to go about this particular substance. Because what is killing us is ethanol. It is not the, the changa, the buza, the kangara. 
it is indeed ethanol which is mixed and it is uh, consumed by the young population of our country and it is becoming a very serious problem sir secondly and i don't know whether this one uh, may, might elicit a controversy but however allow me sir to mention it perhaps there is also needed to reintroduce low cost alcohol in this country i think kenya brewery is tried perhaps we can look at that one because we seem to have an insatiable appetite and inclination towards alcohol maybe they need to relook uh, at that uh, proposal the other one sir is i'm requesting on behalf of colleagues if we can have serious engagement with the prosecution and the courts with regard uh, to this uh, management of this problem because in the recent past we have had judgments and situations which negate the fight against this uh, particular problem like for example one role of bang is no longer an offense anything less than five liters of changa will not be able to go to court and some of the substances that eventually end up preparing some of this is not considered to be illegal so some of these things sir, they negate our efforts and they will continue becoming a serious problem in the fight or in the achievement of the objectives the government has set forth in order to eradicate this particular problem so there is also need as you rightly put it we need a framework between the national government and the county government in order to work together so that we can contain because there is a lot of competition rivalry and conflicts as we move forward to tackle this problem finally sir i think we have another serious problem this is the issue of integrity and conflict of interest amongst everybody if we can contain this problem as you rightly put it that we take severe action against officers or individuals who are found culpable perhaps we will be able to move forward so sir with those few remarks sir once again i wish to indicate that we are determined we are focused and ready